Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with the brand new BK Beauty True Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous soft tones in here. So if you want to see my thoughts and see a tutorial, then let's just get into it. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And I have been waiting for my BK Beauty True Beauty eyeshadow palette to come in the mail, okay? I'm not in my best form right now. I've had a full day of work. My busiest days are Tuesdays and it is nine o'clock. And I really was just in the mood to sit down and play with this palette. So that's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a true first impressions. I haven't even swatched these shadows yet. There is nothing like makeup, seriously, as my therapy. So this is a great way to end my day, just play with some makeup. So as you can see, I obviously already have my base ready, but let's talk about the palette. If you aren't familiar with BK Beauty, they have only so far before the palette come out with brushes and they are really great quality synthetic brushes. I really have enjoyed my experience with their brushes. And BK Beauty is actually owned by the beautiful Lisa J here on YouTube. She is so stunning, such a classy, elegant woman. And there's so much meaning about kindness behind the brand and you're paying more for just the product you know it's going to a good company with a good person behind it and with a very important mission and she has dug into the eyeshadow world you guys know i am an eyeshadow palette addict so i definitely wanted to see what her first eyeshadow palette formula was going to be like this palette was very kindly gifted to me and i am so very grateful for that but i would have purchased it even if it wasn't gifted to me in PR, I really, I admire Lisa so much and I really wanted to try this palette. So here are the basic facts about this guy. It is available right now on the BK Beauty site. I think I have a code. I'll put it down if I do. I don't know why I'm blanking on this, but I should have a code. If not, there's so many wonderful, amazing women on this platform that do have a code for BK Beauty. And this is $45. You can buy it with ShopPay if you want to break up those payments a little bit. This has a 24-month shelf life and it is made in Canada. Love to hear it. So here is the packaging. As you can see, it's just a very simple nude packaging, kind of the same size as the ColourPops palettes, I would say. Then it has all of the names of the colors out here on the back. You also have a nice mirror, and here's a look at the shades. So this palette features 12 shades with six mattes and six shimmers. This was created to be an everyday essentials offering neutrals with a little pop of color, which of course you see my eye will most certainly go to Kate. Uh, gorgeous purpley shade. For those of you who need to know this, 100% cruelty free and vegan, free from parabens and sulfates, free from petroleum based ingredients. Righty ho, let's get into it. So I can immediately tell you just by looking at this color story, this is a softer palette, which I think is fine for a first eyeshadow palette. Definitely, if I were to have a makeup company, I would want it to be a softer, more everyday palette as well. I'm very interested in seeing how these are, if they're packed with pigment formula, if they're supposed to be softer, you know, more like a Charlotte Tilbury or Tom Ford. Haven't even swatched these, so we will see. I'm just dipping my brush very quickly into my makeup by mario little primer palette i just used my esom w25 but from here on out i'm gonna use my bk brushes i just i love this product for my base shade okie dokie so let's get into it we're gonna start off with beam as my underbrow color might be a little bit deep up uh, was a little bit brighter on the eyelid and there have been so many amazing looks that i've seen already with this palette from my other colleagues if you will so definitely make sure you check out other videos on this palette a lot of people have done multiple looks i'm just gonna do the one today it's too late i have my bedtime coming soon so this look is not gonna be anything crazy or unique so yeah we're gonna go in with kind vibes love that love that which is a bit of a mauvey shade now these shades are giving me a little bit of kickback but nothing serious this is the bk 201 brush by the way <sighs> as per usual you know i'm gravitating towards these purpley mauvey shades because i cannot be tamed 
This is blending out quite good. My eyelid's a bit sticky, so it's maybe not the smoothest, but that is my fault because I forgot to set this with powder. But nonetheless, I mean, it's working out pretty nice. Ooh, what a pretty shade that is. 202 brush and we're taking Queen. This has a really gorgeous plummy undertone to it. I love that she snuck in these very slight purpley mauve undertones. So you can really get kind of a more sultry look that's not a basic brown kind of palette. Nothing against basic brown palettes. I quite like basic brown palettes, but nice little twist to your more everyday colors. Using the same brush, I'm going into Kate. Now, I'm not going to apply this all over the lid. There are so many amazing tutorials where people apply this to the lid. So I'm just going to veil this kind of over that crease. So you'll see that really creates a gorgeous lilac haze over the crease, which is stunning. Oh, wow. So this Kate shade has a soft texture to it. So I am getting a little bit of fallout, but I think if you use a brush to pack it on, you do get some pigment. And I'm gonna take the tip of that brush. And again, we're just trying to get that purple to kind of haze through. So just run that under. I feel like I'm teaching a class right now. Taking a 205, which has this nice slant, I'm going into Dream. This is an amazing shape for underneath. And I'm just going to define find this area and this is a shimmery shade don't be afraid to use shimmers my rule of thumb with shimmers if you're intimidated by shimmers all you need is just a touch of a matte so you can put a shimmer shades wherever you want and then you can finish off with just a touch of a matte and it's going to balance everything out while we're at it i'm just going to almost create a mini wing with this brush in this color 203 and we're gonna take glow so you will see the shimmers aren't going to be a really reflective formula and you guys know i love a really reflective formula but they are just a gorgeous soft practical shimmer you know i feel like if you have mature skin you're really going to love the finish of the shimmer all over the lid but if you're feeling a little extra glam my suggestion would be to open up your neglected single glitter drawer and use those pull out those stila glitter gloves you know it's been a while since you've used them. Super duper pretty. Now, I don't know if you can see, I'm getting <laughs> a lot, a lot of fallouts. And I think what that is from is just me using shimmers, basically where mattes are typically used. So it's a little bit messy. These shadows, mattes and shimmers included, they do have some fallout. Now we're gonna take some of Brooklyn. And as you probably could have predicted, this is going to be popped in here, which again, really soft inner corner color. Very last step, I'm gonna take my 208 angled brush and I'm gonna go into Queen. And I'm gonna use this as a nice, very subtle shadow liner just so that I can place some falsies down and it look okay. Alrighty, so here is how we're looking at so far. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and finish the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you at the final look. Alright you guys, so here's the final look. I threw on some very natural Ardell lashes with a plum liner in the waterline and the tight line. And I mean, it's such a soft palette, but leave it to me to make it somehow a little bit more <laughs> colorful and glam. Uh, but no, I really like this palette so far. I did swatch it on my arm just so I could kind of compare how the swatches felt to how how they applied and I gotta be honest these definitely applied way better than they swatch remember swatches don't ever really tell the whole story but I still feel like I can tell a lot from swatches really struggled to swatch kind vibes I felt like it was super duper patchy but that wasn't the case on the eyes it applied really nice on the eyes and while these were swatching I noticed a lot weren't really sticking to my skin and they seemed a bit more powdery again I didn't have too much of a problem with them sticking to my skin on my eyelid however I definitely did get a a lot of fallout from this palette if you're playing especially with the deeper colors down here i would highly recommend that you do do your eye makeup first but it's totally workable for sure it's definitely not a deal breaker for me some things to keep in mind with this palette i would say other than the fallout is that you're not going to get a super sparkly metallic look that's not the formulation in this palette they're really practical soft everyday colors so i really do think for so many of you that this is going to be a great go-to everyday palette you can get more warmer tones but you also can get the cool plummy tones like i did for today's look so there is a little bit of versatility within this palette i do think 
okay? I do think it is missing a nice, deep, pigmented chocolate brown shade. That is one color that I would have added to this palette, but overall, I think this is Lisa's vibe. This is her vision. It's definitely a good palette. The colors did have more depth than I expected when I applied them to the eye. I would like to see the next palette to have a little bit more depth. I think overall, this is just a really nice, light, soft palette, which I think it's very well done. So I think that's the whole vibe of this Everyday palette, which is fine, but I would love to see her next palette to uh, maybe have a little bit more depth for some more drama. That's not what this palette was about, but I, I'm ready for some drama, Lisa. But, but I mean, I can't deny this look. Like, I really like it, and I definitely can see myself reaching for this palette a lot. Just because this palette has a lot of really great, sensible, go-to shades that you can put this palette on, it's gonna look good no matter what colors you put on, and it's just gonna be great for every day. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, this was a first impression, so I just dug into it for the first time. I definitely will keep you updated so keep an eye out for my I guess it'll be my November palette rankings coming next month and of course I will use this a few more times and give you my final final thoughts so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one